go through the wound to reach the Shrouded Realm? In a way. Symbolically, yes. The deepest magics are based on ritual and reenactment. We perceive the Shrouded Realm as below us, so our descent here is a, a performance. And performance coupled with will creates reality. And you're using the Binding Stone to enhance that. Exactly right. This bathosphere Kirken and I engineered focuses its power and our will. If we pretend hard enough to go to the world below us, then inevitably we will get there. This isn't a wound anymore. It is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. The Shrouded Realm. Atava. The wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avium and the land above. Ah, oh, my head. What is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirken's suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. The immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed all of like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior Magni, Jack. It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better path. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wishes. It will most likely be Glavegate. Me, Varak. You're going to let her go? Just like that? Our vessel has reached its destination, so I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palathon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. Very probably. Onward. Okay, what's this supposed to be? In my way. We'll need to work together on this.
You sure this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself... any moment now. Be careful, brother. Are you sure this parley of yours is still wise? Yes, stand down. Hi! I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so... Maybe you'll hear me out? This isn't working. Sandrak, chill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. My friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and... Well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you! Ah! Help me, boy! Uh, I... Why did you send me here? What are you trying to say? I've seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell, the, the Alori. It came from the Shrouded Realm. I don't even know how many thousands of years ago.
Your minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. create wonders with magic that will astonish us as long as we are there to heal the wounds they make in their innocence.
never know rest. They will cherish us, the children of the Pentasad. That hasn't aged well. As soon as humans encountered the Alori, we started slaughtering them.
Kennesaw made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic. They were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. didn't even give them a chance. All we saw was that they drained magic, so we killed as many of them as we could as soon as we met them and drove the rest away. this back together. Jack, it weakens before me. Together we can finish it. No, don't fight it at all. Listen, the Penisod showed me how to... Resist its illusions. It will show you anything it needs to survive. Don't be a coward, boy. Will you listen to me? Stop attacking it! You came here to help me! I came here to help you fix the wound. God damn it! You're gonna get everyone killed, asshole! <laughs> Those oaths really have teeth, Ted. Damn. Oh, shit! Ouch. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, I'm good. Where am I? Smells like you just fell out of the Shrouded Realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. <clears throat> Hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No. That thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. Told us Avium would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before- Before you eat me. I know, I know. Just stop and listen. Ah! The mouth on you. Somewhere along the way you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous rook 
We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant! You got... you got good reason to hate me? You hate all of us? <laughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the fritz. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, he'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. It'll be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my Scrystones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part? Kirkin's still all in on it, telling everyone here they need to saddle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Thaddeus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure, like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisod dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Mm, lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh, it showed you that. To what? Tug at my conscience? No. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. Happy you could finally join us. Your Lori friends were a no-show. They'll be here. I'm done waiting. Air Commanders, prepare to join the Rasharnian assault. Sir, you can't do this. The Pentasod isn't causing the Maladar. It's suffering from it. Sandrak and the Binding Stone You think are... I don't know all of this? He's insane. He literally believes the Pentasod went berserk because it's jealous. Then why are you joining him? The fonts are gone. The Pentasod that made them is broken, unanchored, imploding, and all of Avium is crumbling apart as it lashes out. Nothing else matters. Lucium isn't joining Sandrak's Mad Crusade, Jack. We're using it so we can cauterize the wound at the source. What a crock of shit. Sorry for crashing in. Magna, I got a real blind spot for Alori. The kid says you need our help? And from what I've heard of your plan, he's right by a mile. And just what help could you possibly give us? Look, lady, I ain't happy to be here either. We've had a bone to pick with your people for, I don't know, a few thousand years? We have a lot to make up for. This is how it's supposed to be. Whatever magic the Magni take from the Ley Lines, the Elori funnel back to where it came from. No corruption, no wound. Yeah, well, what he's showing us squares with my research. 
This whole mess started once the Alori were banished. You know what you're doing is impossible. I'm right next to you. The Pentasod is helping. We're tight. Tell me, Jack, did you bring any other visions of perfect harmony that you saw in the Shrouded Realm that are actually relevant to the battle at hand? The Alori can heal the wound? We can start over? It won't happen immediately. We've corrupted so much. But it won't happen at all if we do what you're asking. Selko, get him out of here. Zendara, get your airships ready for transport and- No. I did not just hear that. Selko, relieve the Grand Magnus of command. Bullshit like this is why I live in a cave. Lucium surrendered to Sandrak a month ago. Kalthus is still free. That makes me the ranking officer of the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. Look it up. You're making a mistake you can't undo. Take it up with Lavenry. If you help us, all the territories west of the Orenthals are yours. It's not much, but you'll have a sky. We can work out the rest from there. You're in no position to make such an offer. <clears throat> by law, we're a renegade army. And she's the queen of Kelthus. Damn well do whatever she wants here. We were gonna help regardless, but sure, we'll take bonus freedom. Signal the commanders that there's been a change of plans. Please, sir. You can still help us. You're heading into disaster, Jack. The world ends because of what you chose today. Just give the word, Initiate. You actually came. I I'm kind of speechless. That's, uh, first. And you should be thanking the boys. They're the ones who voted we help you. They heard you guilt-tripping me, kept it up after you left. Oh, come on. No one tells you to do anything. You could say it. Say what? Haircut made a good point, see? And so I'm a sitting at a crossroads of conscience, see? You know what I don't smell on you? A proper fear of me. Should I be getting worried? Oh, you're definitely worried around me. Heebie-jeebies all over you like lice whenever I'm close. But no... fear. Magni Cialori, that's the first thing that pops up. Historically. They scream, freak out, run away. Then make up stories about how horrible we are. I feel like you're about to circle around and say something nice to me. Why would I do that? Oh, come on. You're about to say the reason you're not reading any fear off me is because deep down, we both know we're buddies, friends, pals. Ugh. I was getting to this theory I have about you and your no fear. What do you humans call your kind? An unfortunate? Unforeseen? Also, I'm still human. Is that so? All the Magni treat you like one? I mean, yeah. Well, for the most part. So, I think because you're an unforeseen, because you remember a time where you didn't have magic, you don't got the same ingrained fear of Alori as someone who's had magic their whole life. We just don't set you off the same way as we do the off-the-shelf Magni, the Dynasty Magni. Interesting theory. Or maybe it's just because I think you're all right. Don't sell yourself short, Rook. Thaddeus, thanks for the backup. Everywhere you go, you cause a ruckus. I've never seen Kirkin that angry, kid, and I've seen Kirkin angry. If the Alori weren't here, that could have gone a whole nother way. Backing down from a fight ain't something comes natural to her. Deep down, Kirkin knows that killing the Pentasod isn't the answer. She'll she'll be there. Kid, I watched her walk away stage left. She ain't gonna be anywhere near what we're doing. Hate to say it, but you're gonna have to come to terms with the very real possibility that she's written you off for life. Assuming we survive. So, hey. I got this weird favor to ask. Speak up! What weird Shh, favor? Sh 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 sh. Was that necessary? 
Look, my friend Luna. Gel that gut shot me? Yeah, she's a favorite. That one, yeah. I wanted to talk to her, but I don't know where she is. And I don't know how to do this, you know, this mind thing where I could find out. Uh-huh. So I was thinking, maybe, since we three share the whole thing between us, you could help me track her down somehow. How? You and I combine our thinking real hard? It's not gonna work if you make it sound stupid. Jack? Holy shit, we did Why does everything smell like honeysuckle and eggs? Hey, now. Oh, great. Whatever you want to say, Jack, you better say it now. I can't maintain this tomfuckery for long. Luna. What's he talking about? Them eggs was fresh. You're supposed to leave me out of this jo- This is it, Luna. One last battle against Sandrak. If we lose, the wound swallows everything. You can't ignore this. Are you <sighs> shitting me? Sorry, kid. That's harder than it looks. She's gone. All right. Save your strength. We gotta go. Captain, I really appreciate the support. I know you and Kirk can go way back, so it couldn't have been easy for you. I'm loyal to the Immortals, not Kirken. I get that, but still, I'm just saying. Permission to speak freely, sir. <clears throat> Say what's on your mind. It was a whole month, sir. Sandrak's hold on magic. The Magni outside of the Order of Masks had lost their power and none of them knew if it would ever come back. It broke some of them. It affected all of them. What are you saying? Kirken was wrong. But I can't help wondering if her response to the present crisis wouldn't have been so severe if the Magni hadn't felt so helpless before. Hadn't felt so afraid. It's something to consider. You've got a big heart, Soko. More than most Magni deserve. I'm glad you're with us.
Well, that was a whole thing. That's an understatement. Are you doing okay about Kirkin? Of course I'm not. But what's done is done. So, do I call you Grand Magnus now, or what? Do you ever give things time to process, Initiate? So you're saying we should table it and go? I am. Are you ready? You've got the ball. We launch when you give the word. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Air Commanders have their final orders, sir. We're ready to embark and engage over the wound. Keep our scrying officers silent until I give the signal. Sandrak still thinks we're coming to help. They won't know what hit them. Just need to get close enough to drop us on Sandrak's flagship. My boys will break away and try to dampen whatever Sandrak's spells have got its hooks in the Penisod, pulling it through. Good a plan as any, except, well... <clears throat> our airships are powered by magic. How are we supposed to transport the Alori? You ain't. Fellas, time to gussy up. My born days, I wanted to see that. We can really do this. Good hunting, people. 